here sing with Dallas Native Voice, and I'm sitting with one of my favorite lenders, Jason Browning with Academy Mortgage, and I've been wanting to do this to you for a long time. Uh -oh. All right, we're playing Truth or Dare today. Rock on. Let's All do right, this. so I'm going to ask the question, and you tell me if this is true or if I need to go find another profession. Okay. 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 <laughs> so All here right. we go. So um, I'm under contract for a house and I want to go buy the refrigerator, washer, dryer, and some furniture. Okay. And so I'm going to take out a really small loan for that because, I mean, after all, the company's giving me this wonderful, you know, like, zero down kind of thing. So that would be great, right? I can do that. That is a dare. Do not do that. That is a go get another profession type thing. Okay, yes. so why can't I do that? Well, you qualified before that. Okay. okay so. You're going to take on new responsibilities, new debts, affecting your credit, those types of things. You could actually, you know, turn your qualification into a denial overnight. Okay. You're definitely frowned so, upon. So, so I can't go buy the Lamborghini or anything. I would not buy the Lamborghini unless you plan on living in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, my credit score is not the best. It's kind of around I don't know six twenty. Five maybe, okay. maybe. Is there any way I can get a loan? True, you can get a loan. Oh, absolutely. I've got several loans at a six twenty-five that okay. can get you into this area's price point very easily with very minimal doubt. Okay, so what? Where's the fine line where I can't get a loan? Well, it depends on <laughs> if you bought a Lamborghini or not. Okay, uh, I, I'll, no, I, I uh, won't buy the Lamborghini. So conventional financing, you're going to be right around that six twenty range. Okay. Um, and again, with the raised uh, loan limits for even FHA, you can get down, and there is a conventional with three percent down at that point. Okay. And we can go all the way. I closed a loan recently, a sub five twenty. Wow. With twin, uh, with ten percent down on an FHA loan. Wow. So okay. there's there's programs out there that will get you uh, into a home for far less than you think. Well, with that in mind, here's the next question. I've got student debt, and right now, who doesn't? Right. Student loans Very common. Very are common. really hurting a lot of first-time home buyers. So with my student debt, can I buy a house? Absolutely, you can. Uh, it just depends on how much you have, and then the route that we can go on that particular loan. If we're going a conventional loan. Uh, it's a lot more lenient nowadays than it used to be. Okay. It used to be the other way around. FHA was more lenient. Ah. Now conventional is, and it's all dependent on what's reporting to the bureaus on the payment or what documentation you can provide on the payment. Okay, here's my next one. All right, I have no credit. I just graduated college. I, I'm so proud. I have no credit cards. I have no debt. I, I, I've been living at my parents' house, so, and so there's no way I can buy a house. I can get you a house. That's a true statement. I can get you one. Wow. So I, you, if you have zero credit score based on no credit depth, right. I'm not saying you have horrible credit, just no credit. Right, no credit. Um, right. We've actually closed one of your clients recently on this uh, to where they had zero credit scores and we treated that as if they were doing a 3.5% down payment and closed that loan. All right, wow. Okay, let me see. What's one more question I can ask you? Um, hmm, I'm only 18 maybe a year or two ago, <laughs> but I'm only 18 and I've saved up some money and I want to buy my first house. Can I do that? True, absolutely. Wow. Yes, congratulations. Uh, and again, you may not have to save as much as you think. Huh, well cool. So I can start out being, um, oh, like a Donald Trump that bought the house, that bought the, uh, the apartment they lived in in right. college and then rented it out to his friends and then took that money and bought the next one. Absolutely. Huh, okay. So what? I've got one for you. Okay. So let's see if I need to get Oh dear, okay, oh so, dear, all right. you have a client mm -hmm. that uh, calls you and says, let's go get in the car, we're ready to go shop for homes. You should uh, have them get pre-qualified or you just hop in your car and, and mm, go. Yeah, that's a really great question. No, <laughs> we do not hop in the car and go look for a house for several reasons. One, more importantly, they may be able to afford 300000 but what they're comfortable with is another thing. Is another yes. thing. So again, I kind of go back to that payment thing. It's more important to me what the payment is than what the house costs. Correct. So, so both sides of that, there's just no reason to fall in love with something that you can't have. So no, I won't let people get in my car without being pre-approved. Wonderful. And to get pre-approved, I need to give you my two two twos, right? That is correct. My two-year tax returns. Yes. My two months of bank statements, 
and two pay stubs, that is right? Correct. Yes. Okay. And anything else that has a dollar sign that goes with my name. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty okay. Much. Again, it's very easy. I mean, it can usually be done in about twenty four to forty eight hours to to be completely pre qualified. Wow. Okay, that sounds great. Well, I think I think we can both keep our professions. I think I'm good. feeling good I think about this. <laughs> Well, thanks for listening today. You can find us on all social media. We go where you go. And you can find us at our website at DallasNative.com.